Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Yeah, the old clock says it's five o'clock. Beer 30. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hello guys, gals, everybody that's stopping by, uh, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. This is Clown Shoes American Monastic. This is a Belgian style IPA. Uh, and some of this writing is so small. Those are the states on the side there. I don't see any other pertinent information here. Let's see, uh. Yeah, it is, but I cannot read it. Twelve for what ounces? Alcohol is eight point five percent by volume on this beer. It doesn't have the IBUs, but it does have the dating on it, guys. In uh, bright yellow letters right here on the crease of the bottle here on the neck, it says bottled on January the twenty-first, or is it the fourth? First, January 21st of 2016. So, uh, just a tad, it's about five weeks old here, guys. So, uh, well within the the realms. I've had some people fuss at me about uh, drinking old beer <laughs> and uh, telling me, uh, and and the beers of the one I've got that on uh, was the uh, was the victory. Uh, uh, their harvest beer I did a couple of days ago and uh, about a week ago now probably the time you see this one and they were fussing that I should know better to buy old beer but it, I had it within the enjoy by date and that's what I keep harping on guys about the enjoy by dates uh, you never know whether the brewery is giving it a three month four month five months six months and like I said some of them even give some of them even a year shelf life so uh, just try to give y'all guys a heads up on these enjoy by dates, other than Stone's Enjoy By series, which has a 37 day shelf life, a lot of the other breweries put these enjoy by dates on to extend their shelf lives so they can sell their beers longer. Uh, you don't want to purchase a beer that's in the sixth month uh, of its shelf life if it's an IPA or a double IPA, because you're going to lose you're going to lose what was originally in that bottle as far as hoppiness. So. When I pick up these beers and I look at the date and it says enjoy by this date and I'm a month or six weeks ahead of that date, I still consider that beer uh, should be a good beer. Uh, but not knowing from one brewery to the other what their shelf life is, it's really hard to tell sometimes. Uh, so I just want to give you all a heads up uh, when you see these enjoy by dates. Uh, Unless you know the brewery uh, and and know what their shelf life is on that style of beer. Now that, uh, the IPAs uh, and the uh, double IPAs and your hop forward beers and your low ABD beers, it's critical. But your imperial stouts, imperial porters, and and your heavier dark beers, barley wines, uh, uh, fall into that category that are eight, nine, ten percent or bigger. Those beers are going to keep for a long, long time. So it's really not that critical. Uh, there, I hear people all the time purchasing for those beers that's, that's been on the shelf since 2013 or longer. And it's not going to hurt those beers. Sometimes it helps those beers. Uh, the flavors come together a little bit and, and everything uh, works in our favor in that case. But your IPAs and double IPAs and low ABV beers and some other styles, uh, lockers and stuff like that that are usually low ABV beers, you, you want to get them pretty fresh. 
So when they put an enjoy by date on it and it's a six month shelf life on it, I got a problem with that. So and I review those beers and I try to look at those dates. Uh, but if it if I'm within those dates by the enjoy by uh, and I haven't had it, I'll purchase that. You know. Granted, it, it, if it's if they've given it a six month shelf life and it's an IPA uh, or, or something uh, that's supposed to be hot forward and it's been on the shelf five months before I pick it up, it serves them right if I burn their ass up on that. Uh, I'm just trying to help you guys realize those enjoy by dates are for the the brewers uh, the uh, the brewery's benefit, not the consumer's benefit. The bottle on date, like this bottle has right here, is our best weapon to uh, combat that. So uh, that's the whole reason I do this. And, and to let y'all know, uh, I just bought this beer and it's not that good. And it's within the enjoy by date. So uh, to, to, to make a long story short, don't buy it if it's got an enjoy by date on it. Because you don't know how long they've given the shelf life to that beer. So, uh, just a heads up. Uh, like I said, I've had some people busting my chops over uh, reviewing that beer and some of the other beers. Uh, I'm just trying to give y'all a heads up so y'all don't make a, that uh, purchase uh, and it's an enjoyed by date to six months. Uh, three months is probably about the limit on a hoppy beer. So, uh, and even a month would be even better than that. So, check your dates when you buy your beers, guys. And uh, bottled on dates always better than a Best Buy date. All right, let's get on with this one. Uh, the commercial description on this says this beer features seven premium hop varieties and a Belgian yeast strain from the right to wear monk robes with stars and stripes, shamelessly eat greasy cheeseburgers, and unrestrict, unrestricted use of the selfie stick. This beer represents the freedom to explore America. I don't have the IBUs on this beer, and it's a fairly big beer for a uh, IPA. So, uh, uh, and it's eight and a half percent. I would classify this as a double IPA, especially in the Belgian style, being eight and a half percent. So, uh, but they're just calling it an IPA. Uh, I think the limit is around seven and a half, eight percent before you get into the doubles, and this is an eight and a half. So, I would classify this as a double. Just my two cents. So, food pairings for this beer says here that cheeses doesn't have cuisine. Cheeses are sharp, blue cheddar, you more pungent, stronger cheeses, gorgonzola, limburger, your tangy cheeses, brick adam and feta, and the glass bar is tulip goblet, goblet, chalice, oversized wine glass. I got my favorite glass today and not recommended for extended cellarings. Even though it's eight and a half percent, the hops are going to fade, guys. Drink it fresh. All right, don't think there's anything else we need to talk about, so let's get the cap off of this one. I'm a big fan of clown shoes beers. They do some really tasty stuff. Not everything blows my hair back. Nice big kiss on this. So it tells me it's fairly well carbonated. Hopefully it's not over carbonated. Very nice pour. But not quite two fingers of head on that pour. Good looking beer. Uh, got, a, got a cloudiness to it. I, I don't know if it's just a chill haze or if it's an unfiltered beer. Uh, but I can't see the bulb right through it. So very orange and tangerine in color. A lot of bubbles streaming up. Seems to be fairly well carbonated from the hiss and from the bubbles I'm seeing coming up from the bottom of the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Nice hot presence here. Nice citrus, citrus. Easy for me to say. Citru citrusiness. Get a little bit of pine in there. A little bit of grapefruit. Maybe a little bit of lemon in there. Hmm. Good smelling beer. Uh, kind of disappointed. The Belgian yeast is kind of subdued. Really subdued. Well, let's give it a taste. See what we got. Cheers. A little bit of the Belgian yeast in the taste. But it is subdued. They might want to kick their, their Belgian yeast uh, 
up a notch or two. I'm getting a little bit more in those now that it's, it's warming up just a little bit. It's liable to come out a lot more once it warms up the room temperature, but <sighs> seems to be fairly nice. The alcohol seems to be very well hidden for eight and a half percent. A nice balance to it. Well, let's see where the the yeast goes on this one as it warms up. See if it gets more prominent as it warms up. Uh, my a very tasty beer. I just wish it had a little more Belgian influence on it. Well, let's let it warm up and let her have a taste or two, and we'll come back and see where this one ends up. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it about 45 minutes. Now that it's warmed up to room temperature, the yeast is the Belgian yeast is is there a little bit more than it was when it was right out of the fridge. I'm definitely getting. Uh, the uh, Belgian yeast quality is now on the nose. Very nice. But it's, it's definitely more like an East Coast style of an IPA with the Belgian yeast than a West Coast style. The alcohol is very, very well hidden. Very well made beer, and what impresses me the most, Clown Shoes puts their bottled on date instead of an enjoy by date. That's a great point to me, guys, to have the bottled on date where you can read it. No code, uh, even though it's on the bottle, it's written in, in a, a bright enough ink where you can see it with the beer still in there. So it's going to come to the point where I'm going to start knocking down these enjoy by dates. Uh, because it's my, it's my channel, I can do what the hell I want to do. Uh, and it's my prerogative to do that. So, uh, uh, some of these beer companies choose to do those enjoy by days to extend their shelf life. It's not beneficial for the consumers, it's beneficial for them. So, let's do the final chug. That's very tasty. It is. It's not outstanding, but it's decent. Uh, I, I'm impressed by how well the alcohol is hidden for an eight and a half percenter. Very nice. You could get in trouble with this if you're drinking a six pack of these. You're definitely going to have your buzz going on, no doubt. So, guys, to me, uh, with the bottle on date on it and and uh, the Belgian yeast, I do think it's a little subdued, but uh, it's there. It's there. Uh, very nice. So, uh, guys, uh, I, I'm going to give this 8, which is A minus. Uh, like I said, uh, I don't think it's a 9 or a 10, but I do think it's an A beer. So, uh, if I was paying a numeric rate on this, guys, it would probably be uh, 90 or a 91, somewhere at the bottom of the A scale. So, but very tasty. I enjoyed it. Very nice. I would buy this again. Uh, they need to they need to ramp up their yeast a little bit, to my in my opinion. That's just my opinion. Uh, that Belgian yeast is a little subdued to me. Uh, and Rate Beer and Beer Advocate doesn't have any ratings on this beer at all. So, evidently, it's something new that they've come out with uh, last month and, uh, well, in January. Y'all probably, y'all won't see this beer review till March. But uh, it was tasty. I enjoyed it. It was very nice. So, uh, I'm, I'm on my own on this one since there's no other ratings that I can give you to compare what I'm thinking of the beer. But I do think it's a uh, a tasty beer. So, if you've had it, uh, the Clown Shoes American M Monastic, Monastic, I think it's how to pronounce it, M-O-N-A-S-T-I-C, American Monastic Belgian style of uh, IPA. So, not too bitter. I don't know what the IBUs are on this beer, but it didn't seem to be too bitter. It seemed to be fairly well balanced. So, hardly knew I was drinking an IPA. It drinks like a pale ale. So, very nice. Uh, let me know if you've had it, guys, and come on back tomorrow. Let's go dig something good out of the fridge. See you then.